So it turns out we added up all of my sneakers in the collection and it turns out I have almost $20,000 worth of sneakers. Woo, legit nation. Today, we are turning up the heat. We are going to be cooking up some heat today. On today's menu, we got ourselves a sneaker collection. That's right, guys. Thank you so much for getting me to 600K. Today, we're going to show you guys the best sneaker collection yet. Let's get into it. So before we get into the sneaker collection video, the first thing I do want to address is that this is not a flex at all. As a matter of fact, guys, when I started off collecting sneakers, I literally couldn't afford anything. When I wanted a new pair of sneakers, what I would do is I would have 20 bucks and I would go to the thrift store and I would find a beat up, dirty, used pair of sneakers. And now we are here. I just want to make this video because I know you guys enjoy this, you guys enjoy sneakers, and I want to share my love of sneakers with you guys. Also, we're going to be helping one of you guys win a lucky sneaker today, so stay tuned towards the end of the video if you guys want to win a pair. I used to struggle with sneaker collecting, so I'm going to help you guys and give back to y'all at the end. Stay tuned. So first of all, we got what started all the collecting, the Air Jordans, man. If it wasn't for Air Jordan, I would not be into sneaker collecting. I used to be into skater shoes back in the day, but Air Jordan truly, truly brought me into the collecting. So let's get straight into it. First of all, man, you already know, we got the Off-White Air Jordan 1. Now, originally, I didn't like this sneaker at all. I thought it was pretty much trash, but then I realized this is art, and I became a hype beast. No lie, guys, I literally won these from a sneaker machine for only $45. The shoes are worth like a thousand something, so I think that's a pretty good bargain. These have to be one of my favorites in my collection, right off jumping into some quick heat. I know a lot of you guys probably don't like these, but I honestly think these are my favorite Air Jordan ones ever made. I'm sorry, guys, I know the breads and the rolls are good, but these right here, the purples, dude, this is beautiful. A lot of the sneakers that you guys have seen in my past collection videos are gone because I do sell what I do not wear, and I do wear all of my kicks I don't leave any of them dead stock we got a pair of the black cement threes from this year you can't go wrong it can go with any outfit it can go with this outfit pretty perfect right now the true blue threes a true OG but these are actually one of the newer models too with the Nike Air on the back so both of my threes do have the Nike Air on the back moving on to the fours we got the Motorsport fours now these are no not hype or heat in any way, but I just think they are a very fresh pair of sneakers, and I got these at the Nike outlet for a pretty good price. Sneaker of the year award, maybe? We got the Travis Scott Air Jordan 4s. Now, when they first came out, I really didn't like them, but when I saw them in person, I knew they were $500, but I had to pick these things up. These boys were rocked fresh at VidCon, son, and they might even win the sneaker of the year. I heard they're coming out with some purple ones. You know your boy's grabbing them if they drop. Oh, man, I'm embarrassed to show you guys these, but these are the sneakers that Beth actually blew bleached for a prank one time. <sighs> the, the Air Jordan 5s, I want to say Toro, Raging Bulls, Red, they have a lot of names for them, but these are actually beat up, and I pretty much wear these now whenever I'm going like outside, because they're all bleached, so I really don't care about them. GMP 7s is a sneaker that I've had in my collection for a long time. Probably will never get rid of this shoe, just because it has the my favorite colors in it, the black, the gold, the way it scrims out. These came in a pack with the Air Jordan 6s, but I didn't really like the way the 6s fit, so I kept the 7s. Air Jordan 9s, these I actually got from a sneaker plug out in Chicago, so shout out to him. We got my favorite sneaker of all time, the Air Jordan 11 Concord. If y'all don't know, these are actually re-releasing pretty soon. These are pretty beat up. I got these at a sneaker convention in Austin. When I bought them, they didn't tell me that the sole was separating, but I went ahead and bought them, so I glued them shut. But guys, favorite sneaker ever. I'm super hyped that they're re-releasing. We got some heat for y'all. The Air Jordan 12s. OVO, man, these shoes are so sick and so clean with it dude oh, I had to grab them the white and the gold the way that the stingray comes out on the side Ooh. you guys haven't seen me going through the details about sneakers in a while but I still really do love my sneakers next up we got the DMP pack these came with the 14s and the 13s but everybody hated the 14s your boy had to snag the 13s because I actually think 13s are pretty comfortable not my favorite sneaker but I had to go ahead and grab the gold ones we have my original pair of black cements that I got these were the first pair I got I tried selling these at Texas shoe exchange but these things are beater so I'm probably just gonna keep these for when I need them Air Jordan 11s not my size but I found these in a thrift store, bro. A thrift store for Air Jordan 11s. I had a cop. I'm probably gonna go donate them again, though, just 
because I'm not getting any wear out of them. So I'd rather one of you guys get wear out of them. I think I also found these in the Goodwill as well. The Air Jordan 6s a while back. I posted it on my channel. These are some of my gym shoes right here. We got the uh, Under Armour. Shout out to Foot Locker. They sent me these. Super beat up, I know, but I wear them to the gym like every day. And also, they recently just sent me these Reeboks. Now, I was gonna wear these to the gym, but when I was looking through one of y'all's profiles, one of the fans, when somebody in the legit nation, I was looking through your profile, and I saw that you had been looking for these shoes and you really wanted them, so I told them I would ship them out to you. You know who you are. Just another way I like giving back to you guys all the time because I would not be here without you guys. I would not have all these sneakers without you guys. Y'all are killing it, Legit Nation. Shout out to Foot Locker, another pair of sneakers that they sent me. I don't know the full name of this, but they are yellow Air Maxes. Woo! These things are sexy. Flynets, I never thought I was gonna afford Flynets, but I ended up finding these at Ross for only $30. That's right, your boy is still getting the deals at Ross no matter what happens. I honestly wear these to the gym as well. They're like running shoes that look like Air Jordan 4s. I got these at the outlets for like, I think 30 bucks as well so you know i'm all about the steel son my beautiful wife behind the camera copied these while we were in orlando florida oh man one of the best sneakers in my collection this sneaker is i want to say the most comfortable sneaker in my collection boost air i don't know man air is kind of still pretty comfy i can walk around disney world all day in these and not get tired a true iconic sneaker the diamond Dunk by Nike and Nikki Diamonds, Diamond Supply Baby. From David Got Kicks, so shout out to you, my dude. Air Jordan 1 Ultra Highs. I, I can't wear these here, guys. Texas is very hot, and this is made out of wool. Last but not least, when it comes to Nike, we got the LeBrons right here. I caught these for only $60 at a Ross. Steals and deals all day. You already know, hype beast. I'm going to show you how to do it for cheap. Two pairs of Adidas and they fresh up out the case. Baby, it's time to move on to the Adidas collection. Now, my, myself, I have not been too much of an Adidas man, but as you can tell, I got on my Yeezy Zebras right here with the outfit. Quick flex for y'all. Quick flex for y'all, even though I don't flex. But let's get into it, man. First of all, Triple Black Ultra Boost, a necessity in every sneaker collection. Cool Japanese print NMDs. I don't know the official name, guys. We got the same exact sneaker right here. This is more of a summer sneaker, but a, another NMD right here. With gum bottoms, I really like that. Everybody loves Yeezys, man. The Triple White right here, 350. This used to be my favorite sneaker of all time, just because you can wear it anywhere. You can rock it with anything. But then I dirtied them up, so they're really not my favorite sneaker anymore because they're kind of dirty now. I think I need a new pair. The Turtle Dove Adidas Yeezy Boots. I never thought it was going to be possible for me to own this. Honestly, when I had it in my head, I was thinking I'm never going to get these sneakers. This sneakers for rich kids only. But then I ended up copying them at Urban Necessities in Las Vegas for an okay price. I paid like $1,000 for them. But they were something that I've wanted forever. We got the Pirate Black Yeezy 350s. This was my first Yeezy ever. I traded these for the Just Dawn 2s back in the day. And honestly, I think I got the better trade because now these are worth more and the Just Dawns aren't even worth that much. Pharrell Williams right here. This was my first pair of Pharrell NMDs. I wore the heck out of these all white shoes. I love all white shoes. I don't know what it is. I just feel like you can wear with anything the flight clubs. These are the most expensive sneakers in my collection right here. I actually copped these in LA at Flight Club, which by the way is the most expensive place to buy sneakers. $2,400 for these. You can get them for $2,000. How much did I get them for? 1400 Oh, I got them for 14 So they might not be the most expensive sneaker in my collection, but still very, very expensive sneakers. Now, lastly, guys, I just want to showcase a little bit of Bethany's sneaker collection just to make it seem like I got more Adidas. I got her these triple white Ultra Boosts. She doesn't really wear them, honestly, but I got them in LA. What? I do wear them. You wear them? I just washed them. Oh, she just washed them. That's why they were so white. I, I don't know why I was thinking she never wears them. We got... The shoes she probably wears the most. Ugh, they're all dirty in the front. The triple white 350s. She, I wear my sneakers. She wears her sneakers and she loves to match with me. So we got a clean pair of matching white Yeezys, baby. And yes, we did pay retail for them. We didn't wait until they released a bunch. We got the V2. Uh, resell. Resell. V2. Uh, second generation of the belugas right here. Not a big fan of the belugas, but she liked them, so I snagged them up for her. She wears them all the time. Honorable mention, I forgot to mention that she has these zebras, which we recently bought for retail, so thank you for making them so cheap. We got her a pair of the zebras to match with me. By the way, speaking of the zebras, I know you guys see all the boosts back here, and the reason why we have so many boosts back there is because all of them are filled with zebras 
for you guys. We're gonna give you guys a pair of zebras. Make sure you stay tuned until the end to figure out how you yourself can win a free pair of Adidas zebras. Let's move on to the last spot of the house. Now this right here is something that I would classify as the rest. See, in my YouTube career, a lot of pranks and a lot of gags have gotten a lot of views and you guys have really seemed to enjoy the pranks. So I decided to go all out and order all these props. Now I do not wear fakes whatsoever. So no matter what anybody tells you, no matter what you see, I will never step out in a pair of fakes. I got too many pairs of sneakers to wear fakes. Why would I do that for? Let's get straight to it. Now, a lot of these have been props. This one I recently gave to the Foot Locker worker. He didn't really want them, so I ended up taking them back. These were from the Gucci Mystery Box from the Dark Web. I haven't worn them. I had nothing. I've done nothing with those so far. These were from returning Walmart sneakers to Foot Locker. This is when Beth pranked me. These ones, I think we did wearing fake Yeezys to Foot Locker with these, wearing fake Balenciagas to the Balenciaga store. I haven't done anything with these yet, but <laughs> what? What are these? Adidas human races that you would think would be Adidas human races. I don't think I've ever done anything with them either, but I got them off DH Gate and that video banged. Y'all guys enjoyed it. Recently got these two pairs in the Black Friday mystery box video. We got the off-white Air Jordan 1s and the off-white Vapor Maxes. Now these shoes together make about $3,000 if they were real, but they're actually from DH Gate. I ordered them because I thought they were so crazy and they looked exactly like the real thing that we could definitely pull a prank with them, but I haven't filmed anything yet. We got the slippers, of course. We got the Pharrells and we got the Yeezy Belugas. Now, honorable mention, I would have to throw in the Timberlands. I've had these for a very long time. I used to like to wear Timberlands back when it was cold, but I haven't worn these in a very long time. And my only pair, sadly, of designer shoes, these super sick MCM high tops. I wore them to the San Antonio Fashion Awards. And let's just say your boy was the flyest contestant there. So it turns out we added up all of my sneakers in the collection and it turns out I have almost $20,000 worth of sneakers. Oh my gosh, what I could buy with that. But listen guys, I came from nothing, I started off from nothing, but on this channel, we wanna teach you guys to strive to thrive. We wanna teach you guys to have that grinder's mindset. We wanna teach you guys to come up, cause I know a lot of you guys are in bad situations, but I, what I wanna do today is I wanna help out one of you guys by giving you guys a free pair of Adidas Yeezy Zebras right here. Guys, all you gotta do is click the link down below to enter in a free Yeezy Zebra giveaway. We got all the sizes right here, so any size that you need, you will be picking it. We've already given away one pair, about to ship them out. But guys, all you gotta do is click the link down below and it'll take you into a link where you can follow me on my social medias. Make sure you guys hit follow on Instagram or it will not count. Go at it guys, get it. And thank you so much for watching another video on Legit Vlogs. We'll see you guys in the next one. Thank you for 600,000 subscribers. Peace homies, stay blessed. We're out of here.